Hi Sagittarius, it's Power Online Tarot coming at you with the reading and today we have another bomb reading. Sagittarius, we do. Yeah, we're going to blow up your day here, Sagittarius, all right? Mhm. Mm and uh yeah, and you know, we have this wand and this intention right here, Sagittarius. It looks like a giant cigar. Yeah. Uh, kind of yuck. I remember when I was a kid, they used to, uh, these old men used to smoke them on the bus and I was like, oh God, I just want to, you know, take the bus here and not, not get lung cancer, right? Or whatever. Uh, and they smelled so bad cause they were cheap ones. Right. Uh, but here's the wand. I'm sure they were not Cuban cigars. I'm sure they weren't. Okay. But here's the wand. This is intention. And this is what somebody wants when somebody sets an intention is because they have their heart on that. Yeah, they have their heart set on it. And somebody in this reading is in love with you and they're looking at your pictures or they're definitely thinking about you and mm -hmm, because we have the camera as well. Like, and that talks about a keepsake. Mm -hmm. And it talks about learning from the past, interesting and reminiscing. So somebody learned, they could have learned a Saturn lesson here, right? They might have, right? There's, a, there's other kinds of lessons, but I feel like Saturn teaches the best ones. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, karmic ones, right? For sure. But, uh, yeah, but before we begin, Sagittarius, if you would like your own psychic reading, you may always get one. They're lots of fun and, uh, you get a tarot spread at the end. So we have two different insights and, uh, Mm -hmm. And you find out about somebody, whether or not they're kind of happy in their life. And, uh, that shows up more in the other reading. It shows up in the, in the psychic reading. And then, uh, in the, in the tarot spread, it shows up more kind of like, uh, you know, that's where we see the two of cups and, you know, we see, uh, the cards that are kind of a little bit more romantic, but, uh, they both can show different, different insight. They can, this is why I always recommend them. And yeah, and I'm a silver grad, so they're accurate. And also you guys, if you uh, would like a free five minute psychic reading with mystic sense, the link is below. Let's get into it. You can get a regular tarot spread with me if you would like. I don't like to say regular cause, uh, they're very cool. Right. But yeah, check out the calendar below and Sagittarius in the reading. Uh, we have all these majors down here, right? And I'm going to clarify these cards, major arcanas, because that's the deck I chose to use today, uh, because I sometimes find it's interesting to use that deck. And so there they are. And you know, that's awesome, right? Uh, but we have a lot of beautiful things here. We have, uh, the sun is showing up. We have the full, this is all about new, uh, new beginnings and clarity about it and happiness and success with the sun. Uh, you're showing up over here, Sagittarius, as temperance. We have the Knight of Cups, and and this is somebody, uh, you know, who's offering you love in this reading. There's also, uh, and over here, we have this courage, Sagittarius, and uh, here's this lady here, and, you know, she's thin, and the lion is jumping up on her back, and she's not, she says, I can take it, Right? Yeah, like I try to tell some people, uh, I'm bulletproof, right? Which is, you know, nobody's bulletproof, right? Just, I just tell my sister that to bother her sometimes, right? Excuse me, it, it lets her know, don't bother me, right? Yeah, I might get real Sagittarius on you. <laughs> so let's get, let's get into this Sagittarius. So we have the cone of power and this is like the magician, isn't it? And this is energy. Uh, mm -hmm. And we see the cup. We see the feather is like the sword, I believe. And then the pentacle is there. Uh, and then this would be the wand, I believe, uh, down here. Maybe it's the feather, but these are all the four elements that are being shown. Mm, maybe the sword is the light and the wand is the feather. That's unclear, but it, they're still all there at, for the magician to utilize, right? Uh, and in order to have, make this intention come true or put this out there. Yeah, this is very cool. This is like the, uh, it's kind of like the ace of wands, the wand intention. Yeah, it is. And we have the bear. Here he is. Uh, here he is Sagittarius. He's real cute, right? Uh, I didn't know they were that cute, right? They usually look pretty ferocious when I've seen them, right? Yeah, they do. Oh, they're beautiful animals, right? All animals are beautiful really, uh, for sure. And you know, he's, uh, he's been in hibernation and he's starting to come out. Uh, because he has this little fire lit, right? And like a campfire and the moon is here 
interesting. And so it looks like spring kind of, but this is a retreat and this is a number 27. It's a nine. That means things are coming to a head or an end, like a completion. Uh, and this could be spring, right? And spring is in about 30 days here in, in the United States, uh, or, you know, maybe 35, something like that, 40 days. Uh, it is on the spring equinox, which is typically March 22nd. Uh, yeah, I feel like it is, which is Aries birthday. Mm-hmm. I think it is. And, uh, this cave retreat is about somebody who has gone into solitude, uh, to be in their cave, to figure their life out. That's really what it is. Uh, but he's starting to come out because I know that, uh, the bear here, you know, uh, really kind of, you know, is really deep in his cave. I feel like he is. I don't feel like there's any opening here either. And there's definitely not a campfire. So this person's coming out of retreat. Yeah. They didn't teach us enough about that stuff uh, in school, Sagittarius. Yeah. There's so much, at least in the public school. No, they did not. The uh, repeating stuff and whoa, I thought I learned this three years ago. Uh, stuff like that, like for English. I'm like, this is craziness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was part of their so-called curriculum. Yes, it was. So getting back to this Sagittarius though, uh, you know, the fool and the queen of swords and temperance is here. And you know, this sits in the past here. So we have somebody wanting a new beginning or a new adventure right here, Sagittarius in the past. Yes, we do. Yeah. And so Let's go ahead and get some cards here and we're going to go ahead and clarify each card because these are majors and uh, we want to see what else is kind of, I don't know, supporting these cards. Wow. Five of cups and we have the seven of wands. Yeah. Somebody went through something hard here. They did. And that's why they were in their cave. Yeah, they were in their retreat, right? Mm -hmm. The devil. Yeah, this, whoa, this is like a trip, right? Uh, mm -hmm. we're going to cover that card and we'll cover it with the Jasper here, <laughs> pink Jasper, whatever they call this, but let's see what else. And K Sagittarius in the reading, we see this man, he looks just like somebody I know. He sits like that person. So it's a, he's the King of cups. He's kind of a, <clears throat> like a Husky guy a little bit here. And the cup is spilled here to the side. And he has his hand up to his face like, well, I got to do this or too bad it had to go this way. And it's just, it's like a regret. And it's underneath the five of cups. Yeah, it is like a regret. Like, oh shit, look what I did. Excuse me, right? Or look what I had to do. So we'll get a card on the king of cups, please. Why is that there? He's got uh, rubies on his head and it's, it looks like tomatoes to me. Yeah, it does. See what else we have. Knight of Wands reversed. OMG, Seven of Swords. <laughs> the sun showing up with the Page of Swords. The Strength card. And the Knight of Cups. Let's see what we got here. And we have the moon. Six of Cups wanted to come out. It's just kind of turned over here. So it looks like somebody's from the past. And Cat Sagittarius, you also have the dolphin. All right. Yeah. I know a Sag who always says I don't speak dolphin and, uh, I'm not entirely sure what she means, but, uh, I do understand that she's uh, whoever she's communicating with. It, it kind of doesn't make any sense. I think that's all she's trying to say. <laughs> and so let's talk about financial gain. Usually coming from something you did in the past. Well, that sounds great. Maybe you wrote a book or something, Sagittarius, or you did something. And, uh, mm -hmm. then we have fire and this is passionate love or hate. Okay. We don't like hate. No, we don't. Nobody, nobody likes hate. Right. But, uh, maybe somebody is angry with you possibly. Uh, I don't know. There could be some type of an ending here is what I mean. Here's the five of cups. This man is regretting. Here he is. It's showing up the king with the seven of swords. Like I have to leave this and I regret this, but it's this king. If you can see him in the card, right? He's only in this deck. Does he look that way? He's taking, uh, he's accepting loss. And he says to himself that 
it too bad it ha I have to do it this way or it's going to hurt somebody or look what I've done like in my life basically yeah and it shows up with the seven of swords this is the current this is the current situation down here now it doesn't always have to be because in a general reading uh, we don't live or die by placements no we don't live or die by them in a in the real world either no we don't <laughs> uh, we try to kind of look at things right and not just go boom right but here he is running away the seven of swords this is major contemplation and a potential escape because here he is like oh god i have to either escape or it can be like i was really sneaky too it can be that so over here we have somebody who's stubborn and here's the ram uh it says aggressive but you know we're not sure if anybody's aggressive here no we don't know about that uh but they can be stubborn and which is not really the same and, but you know, aggressive, it doesn't always have to mean agree. Yeah. I think what they mean here though, is that somebody is, they're not going to hold out for less stubborn and aggressive. Like I'm going for this because really that's what the intention means. When you set an intention, it's because you're really going to do your best to manifest that and whatever that takes right now, you change the way you talk to yourself, right? You, you can, you're controlling your emotions now because your emotions and your self-talk uh, create your health. Yeah. They dictate your health. They sure do. Uh, and the rest of your life as well. So somebody's not like, I feel like what this is though, is that somebody's just being stubborn and they're going to be really aggressive in getting you back. And I don't mean they're going to come and, you know, uh, punch you in the nose. I don't mean that type of stuff. Right. And so because this is passionate love, strong emotion, Somebody can't live without you. And here's the camera. And this is reminiscing keepsake, right? Perception, learning from the past and making memories. <coughs> so, you know, this person learned this card, Sagittarius with the King like that. He learned, trust me, I can, right? Yeah. I'll bet you, I'll bet you lunch on Monday, right? Yeah. And so, yeah, he's definitely... Uh, he's learned and he goes, God, look what I've done. That's exactly what that is underneath the five of cups with regret. This person Sagittarius or you is leaving something here. Seven of swords running away, five of cups, especially with the five of cups and the fool. Here's the fool. And this sits in the past. This is like, I want this new adventure and something's ending here and it's a five and it's, you know, if there's loss here and there's regret and it's right over that King who shows a face of regret. So we have somebody looking at your pictures, learning from the past, making memories, uh, and, uh, make me, they want to make new ones. We have kisses, unconditionally loving and falling in love. And this person wants to, they're trying to come forward and they have set this intention. Like Wayne Dyer always used to say, right? One time when I was younger, I, I read his book and I didn't really get it because I wasn't ready to read it. <laughs> right. Yeah. I was too stressed out. Right. Yeah. Taking care of a couple of kids. Right. Yeah. And so here we have the chaser Sagittarius and this is a fear of abandonment. This person's afraid you're going to abandon them. It's also possible they didn't choose you because they were afraid that you might leave them. Yeah right? Maybe they know that you have a lot of boyfriends or like, maybe they just knew that you didn't stick around with jerks or something like that because this person learned. And so, you know, maybe they saw you like, just like, Oh no, you're going to be like that. I'm not dealing with you. So they could have been afraid that you were going to abandon them, abandon them. I mean, there's people out there that, you know, in relationships that do a lot of wrong, that may do a lot of wrong to you. And then they're afraid you're going to leave them too. So they won't commit to you because they're afraid that, well, Sagittarius is not putting up with my BS. And that might be a theme here that this person is afraid or was afraid. They're not afraid anymore. No, I don't feel like they are. So, uh, mm -hmm. maybe a tiny bit, but it's definitely not going to hold them back. Okay. So in the past, this person Sagittarius was in this kind of queen of swords, but kind of uh, discerning whether or not, but discerning if they could have this new adventure, the fools next door with you. Uh, and over here is 
the seven of wands with it, like, but feeling challenged or wondering if you would resist them. Yeah, there's, as I said, there's a little bit of fear here and maybe they feel like you're going to resist them. This is a card of resistance. Seven of wands or being overwhelmed or maybe you're going to fight with them possibly, but it looks more like they, they feel like you might resist them because right next door is temperance. And here's this temperance here. Uh, you know, looking up at the butterfly, both feet are in the water, almost like, well, uh, I, I don't have time to actually, you know, kind of put one foot on the ground and one in the water. I need to really sit down and think about this new beginning, <laughs> right? I'm giving up my duties as temperance, the angel, uh, because I'm reflecting on this intention with the butterfly there. And that's what they are doing. Uh Oh, I have to cover this, uh, this, this um devil here right because he's got these two naked people chained this person's worried about you they're with the devil there they're worried here maybe they have chained you in a past or kept you kind of stuck they could have they know they did something wrong here or maybe that's you but it looks like it's this person uh by his body language you don't even have to read a card here kind of i mean if this one card is huge and then we have the Knight of Wands and it came out reversed and <clears throat> judgment's here, but judgment in this deck is somebody who walks away and never looks back. So these people, the angel came to, you know, uh, allow them to be reborn. And so they had to get out of the coffin and she said, now she's leaving. Like I've done my work and they're being reborn. They're like given a second chance. But none of these people are looking back and that's what that, that's about. That This person wants a, a rebirth with you, but they don't want to look to the past. And maybe they have their own situation that's something that they don't want to look at in the past because there was a major mistake here in the past that is regretful. They could be afraid here too that and they kind of been sneaky with you. Seven of swords, sneaky guy. Here's the regretful king net with him. And now we have judgment. <clears throat> this person could be afraid maybe that in the knight of wands in the reverse, can, maybe they were a player. That can be a player sometimes. Maybe, you know, and this can talk about not having courage. This person's concerned about you, Sagittarius. Knight of wands reversed. And they're wondering if they can have happiness or success with you with the sun and the page of swords. They're like, I wonder if Sagittarius will throw me a bone. Yeah. With beef juice on it, Sagittarius, right? Yeah. Lick, 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 right? <laughs> so here we have the Knight of Wands with it reversed. I feel like this person thinks that you might, you might not be able to leave the past behind. It's possible. because they're not looking back and this is a rebirth but the knight of wands is reversed they could be thinking that and here's the sneaky seven of swords here and them like feeling regret yeah they could be thinking that you you can't leave the past behind they did something here Sagittarius yeah they did whatever it was Maybe they lied to you because they were afraid of you. They were afraid of abandonment, right? You could meet up with people who have their own issues and you're wondering what is the problem in our relationship when we're both hung up on each other because of all their past plight, because of their natal chart. That's really what it is. Shows you all the blocks in your natal chart and things that you need to work on. Yeah, it shows your strengths, but you know, people know those pretty much, right? So yeah, and uh, mm -hmm. yeah, they're wondering if they can have happiness with you. They could be wondering, Sagittarius, if you're going to focus on the past. Here's the sun, it can be about focus and clarity. Here's judgment. But this judgment, remember these people, are, they're leaving, they're not looking back. This person could be wondering if you will focus on the past here or if you can really leave it behind. Yeah. So in the near future, Sagittarius, in this reading, we have the queen of swords. She's shown twice here, right? And she's with this, 
uh, this lion here and the lion is, you know, jumping on the woman here, right? Here's this woman, attractive woman down and she's thin. So she's down on her knees and, but she's okay with the lion jumping on her back. This person could be wondering if you have kind of toughened up here. Maybe they thought you were really sensitive. They could have, especially if they did something to you. Maybe it is you who's wondering if they'll have the courage here. This takes a lot of courage. She's letting the lion pounce on her. And he's ferocious. She's like, oh, I got it. I'm, I'm fine. If this is you wondering if this person has courage, you know them really well. If that's them wondering about you, if you're going to have the courage to deal with this, it's possible that you haven't seen this person in a long time, Six of Cups. Here's the Knight of Pentacles showing up with the Knight of Cups. Here they are with their offer. This could be somebody else over here questioning whether or not they're going to have the courage to kind of show up for you. It possibly can be. There could be something else going on in this reading is my point. There's a whole story here. So here they come. Sagittarius, judgment's above it. They don't, this person doesn't want you to turn, look back, right? No, they don't, they don't want you to focus on the past. That's clear here. They want you to focus on the future. Yeah, they do. They want you to focus on the sun here. Happiness. Everything will be out in the open with you guys. It'll be clear clarity. I feel like you didn't know what to expect with this person. It's possible. And maybe that's why you, you, they're afraid that you would abandon them. When you don't know what to expect with somebody, that's why I always say get the psychic reading and, you know, and the tarot spread too. But when you don't know what to expect from somebody, you can easily write them off. I mean, for some of us, we can, depending on our chart and, you know, our, you know, kind of our experiences in life, right? Uh, but it's easier kind of sometimes when we don't know what to expect because we're like, I'm not dealing with this. This, there's something mysterious going on and why, why does there have to be, why does it seem like there are things being hidden or invisible or, or right? So a lot of people will leave in that case. There's something, uh, this person's afraid you're going to leave them out. Uh, mm -hmm. and they could be also, this person could be coming to reassure you. I am pretty sure they're going to do that. Yeah. They're coming to reassure you that that they're here to stay. Yeah, that's what this is about. It is. And so in the potential outcome, here's the person, Sagittarius, not knowing what's going to happen. The moon. This is confusion, fear, things in the dark, things still in the dark, uh, doubts. The moon is about doubts. And so here, they don't know here if you're going to want them back. We have the six of cups with it. Like they don't know. She just gave her the flowers and she's smelling it. This person doesn't know if you're going to, you know, throw the flowers back at them. It kind of looks like that. I mean, it might not be that uh, extreme or, you know, dramatic. Let's get a card on that moon. And we have the Ten of Swords. See that? <laughs> there you go. This person is, they're totally, this person has fear here about this. Yeah, they do. But they're coming with this courage, I believe, and those definitely with reassurance for you. Yeah, they're coming to tell you possibly something they never, ever told you before. Like, hey, this is for sure. And it could have been what you wanted. You don't look like you got what you wanted in this reading. And they look regretful for not giving it to you or for not understanding how important you were to them. That could be definitely part of the problem here. Yeah. They could have been insecure. And that's no fun to be in. It's definitely not, right? But they are missing you because we have the camera. And this is reminiscing keepsake. So we're going to end this reading, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me here. God bless you guys. And yeah, get your own reading. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.